Un era así. Un era así. Okay, that was good. So yeah, if you do get loud, yeah, back up because it's meant to like keep you at distance. Cuanta la I mera. know, after everything I've been telling you. When pussy is wetter, it's always better. On the sea. But it's all, it's all salty, man. It's all sticky. <laughs> <laughs> you want a nice salty vagina? Is that what you want? I mean, that's what I got. Out of What's that. under the sea? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Fish don't stink. Underwater, <laughs> the fish don't stink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bobby's world, and then and then Uncle Ted does a drum uh, solo. <laughs> I'm trying to think out how do you sound. What? <laughs> Uncle Ted. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Holy shit, that was fucking <laughs> creepy as shit. <laughs> Why did that happen? <laughs> that was on the nose. <clears throat> Almost ready. Sorry, guys. California, it's the Foobar Show! Hey, what is up everybody? I am Joe C. And I'm Josh. And we got David on the mix. Say hello, David. Hello, David. <laughs> Today on tap, everybody, we've got some shit talking. We're going to talk some sports and we're going to talk a little music. Really nothing to do here. No guest. But first and foremost, thanks so much for listening to the Foo Bar Show. Thank you for subscribing and telling a friend like a champ. You can always catch us at Foo Bar Show. That's F W O Bar Show at gmail.com. And F W O Bar Show as our handle on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Check us out. Drop us a line and we'll foo it up like a couple of foos. Ain't that right, fellas? Oh, yes. Yeah. Fucking okay. fuse. So, um, I want to I wanna harken back to the last pod we put together. With uh, Mr. Uh, G Baby Luna, and um, G Baby, I, I couldn't. I think I think we all learned a very important lesson that day. Don't dab it up so many times prior to doing a podcast. Would uh, you agree? Uh, yeah. Certain people, certain people should definitely be uh, off limits to such activities. Um, uh, so- David. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, dang, you should really take care of that cough. You know? The one that sounds like I'm saying David? Yeah, yeah. I've got some Robitussin in it. I've been saying it for the last 10 seconds. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I I don't think we learned a lesson. No, no but, not at all. But I think uh, we're going to manage it a little bit better moving forward. Yeah. So as, no. as, as entertaining as that could have been, we were extremely high. <laughs> Yes. I, I know I was baked as all fuck. Didn't I spill my beer at one point? Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you definitely did. After I had told after I said this before we even started the podcast that someone's gonna spill something on this new brand new spanking new table that Joe C just got here, guys. I bought everybody a uh, brand new eight player uh poker table. It's nice. It's better than the last little table, uh, wouldn't you say, David? <laughs> it's amazing, and we still spilled, and it has eight cup holders. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how I pulled that off, uh, but nevertheless, it is a nice table. Now, unfortunately, Amazon sent it to me a little damaged. I'm trying to get some money back for it. 
Uh, it's still a good fucking table. <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean, I am not complaining, it. but um, it holds stuff up, right? Yeah, but right. I, I think it'll co- accommodate the guests a little bit more comfortably. I would say, uh, but you guys, uh, I also wanted to catch y'all up on the foo. Um, oh. He's uh, he's alive and well. Oh my he's, goodness, he's in his uh, in, he's in his home planet of Footopia. <laughs> my I sources are terrible. Your source? No. Well, you had. I mean, you, you were half right when you told us that you know he he went to Africa to do some good Fake on this news. earth. But you guys know, like he wasn't. I mean, the, the signs were there. He he was not into um, pop culture, or maybe he just couldn't understand it. Maybe he just couldn't relate to it because he was not of of this world. I, I you know what? I always suspected he was kind of you know an alien. Okay. But uh, you know, it was very shocking to find out that he actually did end up. Uh-huh. Leaving the planet, yeah. yeah. So, so um, I I embarked on a little quest the uh, these last couple of days where I put up a satellite, kind of like the um, what is that that satellite that they put up to try to look for extraterrestrial in um, contact? Uh, yeah, the the was a SETI. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, it's called SETI. Search for uh, intelligent life. Blah 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 blah. I don't know. Extraterrestrial intelligence. Search for extraterrestrial intelligence. SETI. You're going down a road that uh, I've never been down, man. Well, the more you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> put one of those up in the backyard. And apparently the foo has been sending planet Earth messages for a while, even since he, he landed. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, now, a lot of it was v- pretty fuzzy. Um, so, but I was feverishly jotting down anything that I possibly could. See, NASA's really fucking up if you're the person that, you know, has to find these type of, uh... Apparently, <laughs> man. Discoveries. Apparently. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, now a lot of this is going to seem out of context, but, uh, I mean, this is, uh, this is what I was able to make out from some of the transmissions. For example, apparently this one, if I, if my calculations were correct, this one dates back to November 6, 2016, where the foo goes? Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it goes back for a little while, and then they're going to be scattered too. Okay. okay. Um, I, I hope I have cold sores, and I just don't know it. And then he makes a slurping noise. Uh, uh, what do you suppose he tried to? He was trying to say there. These are all very real too. I couldn't. I couldn't be faking this. <laughs> Can you repeat that for me one more time? I don't think I got it. I hope. I, I don't. I don't think I heard it. Yeah, correctly. he says. Uh, he said, and this is what I scribbled down, and I, I swear to God, this is true. I hope I do have cold sores, and I just don't know it. Slurp. Oh. What do you suppose he was trying to? I mean that that couldn't possibly be the only thing he said in that sentence, right? That could. I mean, was a lady what offering him a drink, and you know, he first thing that comes to his head was, "I hope I don't have cold sores." No, he says, I hope I do have he said, cold wait, sores. Do I don't? just don't know it. Yeah. I just I, I hope I do, I just don't and I just don't know it. Is what wow. He said. Um his nightlife was uh Is he angry at someone? Was he trying to like anger fuck someone and give them cold sores and because he doesn't know he can't go to jail? <laughs> now no, oh, I don't know. But this one leads me to believe that he's saying this kind of bullshit on purpose. Okay. okay. Uh, because, and I'll tell you why, because uh, uh, the transmission dates back to August 10th, 2015, where the Foo goes, Foo, just put it in my mouth. <laughs> Awkward silence. Oh, fuck you, man. And then it goes back into being, you know, like just getting all staticky again. Uh it's just things like it isn't. It doesn't help his case when on August nineteenth there was another transmission of twenty fifteen that he said uh, where the foo goes put it in. Okay, Are these voicemails. Yeah, it does. He he needs to learn. Was he texting? To, yeah, he, he, might, he might be ass dialing. Yeah, so he's texting. No, no. These yeah. these are these are these came out of his mouth. Oh shit! The transmission was you were, you. So you deciphered this transition or this transmission. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, no. The, the, I mean, he was speaking American English. I don't know why. I guess that's what they speak over in Futopia. Son of a bitch. Tell me about it. America. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, those. I mean, uh, I'm going to keep them coming because there's a wealth of these. I jotted so many down. I think I, uh, I, they date back to like 2013. Were you just like feverishly writing, jotting these down? Like, this is gold. This, this is, is gold. This is gold, Jerry. Gold. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we should all look forward to some of those. Coming up in the next few episodes. The Foo Files. The Foo Files. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. The Foo Files. 
Um, and you know, I don't think it's a coincidence, David. And I'm looking at you because you're a Foo Fighters fan, correct? Indeed. Would you say they're one of your favorite bands? They're definitely one of my favorite bands. Yeah. You know Huge what Foo Fighters stands for, right? Or what it is originally? The Foo Fighters. Yes, I do, but a lot of people don't. Can you? Uh, do you care to? Do you care to explain? I probably won't do it justice. Feel free to go ahead and son of a bitch. Now I gotta look this up. Yeah, oh, see, that's oh, my no, problem no, So too. you're bringing stuff up without <laughs> being ready. <laughs> I thought this was the theme of the show. Anyway, from <laughs> my knowledge, the Foo Fighters af- in, in Cold War era U.S. were a team of uh, Air Force pilots who got together to search for extraterrestrial or at least unknown flying objects oh, damn. and try to decipher what exactly they are. So that team was called the Foo Fighters, and then ado- that, net- that name was then adopted by the very popular band, the Foo Fighters, which is very funny because they, they know what they're doing, too, still even. And uh, you know what the name of the record label is? Pray to tell. No. Uh, Roswell. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> Roswell Records, yeah. So they, they kind of kept the theme going. And uh, maybe that's why they have all these songs about, you know, the sky. Like, the sky's neighborhood. And it's kind of They're trying to tell you guys something. Mm. Something's happening. Actually, no. I think they abandoned anything that had anything to do with aliens after they picked the name of the band. <laughs> Not like Tom DeLonge? No. Everlong wouldn't work. Yeah, it would be more of a name for Tom DeLonge's ba- band. Um Rather than Angels and Airwaves, that that was know. weird. Yeah, that was just. I think he was just trying to be clever with uh, it, trying to spell A V A. Well, didn't he have because box that's his car, daughter's name? Didn't he have the box car racers? <laughs> that too? was a great band. That was pretty good. That was cool. And then it just went away. Yeah, <laughs> Angels and Airwaves got uh, they they got too U uh, two ish for me with all the delay pedals and uh, yeah. the effects on the guitar. Um, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It was just another Dom DeLong thing. Yeah, it it went under the radar. Yeah, totally. Well, for me, a lot of people loved it. Mm-hmm. I did. Um, well, th- this this podcast airs on a uh, on a Monday, so by now Fourth of July has come and went, and everybody's had their barbecues and lit themselves on fire and done the whole goddamn thing. Uh, Josh and I uh, had a conversation um, the day before the Fourth of July. If I'm if I rec- if I recall, it was the third of July. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And I was saying that the best movie to watch on the Fourth of July was Independence Day. Here Josh seems go. to think it's. I mean, Josh seems to think that. I it's, mean, I enjoy the Patriot. It's not. It's not a. That's a dope movie. It's. It's not. You know. It's I'm not, not a, saying it's a bad movie, but yeah, I mean, I. I feel like Independence Day is just a cop out movie for Independence Day. I mean, come on. That's two on the nose. Now, for what me. would uh, is there another movie that you uh, would enjoy, uh, David, on on Independence Day? Braveheart. But that's not American. Yeah, come on, man. Scottish. Hey. hey. Nevertheless, half of what they're winning their independence from. <laughs> same fucking people. Oh, damn. Uh, whoa. <laughs> One. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. You just, you just shattered some walls over here. Two. <laughs> Such a dope ass movie, man. Yeah. Yeah. This is great war scenes, man. Way to you... shit on this uh on this segment. <laughs> oh my so God. I looked it up. <laughs> and Esquire.com has the ten patriotic movies to watch on the fourth of July. So you let me know if you agree. Number one, Independence Day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> now now oh, hang yeah. on, they don't give up there because number two, a close second, the Patriot. All right, all right. So I'll, I'll give it a close right two. That's fine. I like the rest of this list too. Okay, you started no. with number one? Yeah. <laughs> as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, it's all not, downhill from here, guys. <laughs> they're not even numbered. To be honest with you, oh, okay. It's oh, just okay. ten, ten of the the best. Okay. So they're, they're okay. not numbered. They could be scattered. Um, so now you started off lying to us. <laughs> Way to go. Oh yeah. Well, uh, spoilers. Uh, fucking Braveheart isn't in here. I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it wouldn't be. No. But get this: Team America, World Police. Number yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I've never seen this other one. Have you guys seen a Patton? Oh, I've heard no. of it. It's I've, yeah, I've heard of the, yeah, it. Yeah. The general, right? Yeah, where he's standing George in front of the George C. Scott board. wins. Uh, he, he won an Oscar for this performance. Yeah. Uh, in front of a massive American flag delivering a stirring and empowering speech for the troops. Yep. Up next is Forrest Gump. That one's pretty goddamn American. Yeah, yeah. that's I mean, a great Yeah, one. that's that's pretty mm-hmm. damn American. Now, but I'm, a uh-huh. Fourth of July movie, though? Totally. Fourth, really? Yeah. Oh, well. He goes through a few of those. Yeah, that's true. I, I don't guess. know if he goes through. There's like a one iconic There's scene one. for sure that happens on Fourth of July, I believe. When, yeah. With the guy, with... Um, with Lieutenant Dan, right? Lieutenant Dan, yeah. yeah. That's, that's right. Or is it New Year? I think it's Fourth of July. 
shit. There's fireworks. I'm sure he goes through. We do not something. remember this movie very well, people. Sorry. I, yeah. <laughs> One that I remember even less, and I could have sworn I saw it. I just can't remember a damn thing about it. Born on the 4th of July with uh, Tom, with Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you seen that movie? No, I haven't. I've heard... I- 